Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Jinda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as the United States. In the last episode, we annihilated something like uh, half the Russian Navy. We now have pretty much naval superiority in Northeast Asia, where the main theater of the war is. And in this episode, we see if Russia can put any sort of response together, or if they'll just collapse. Of the Russian... Well... There is something left of the Russian Navy, but not a whole lot. Wow. 4559 Squadron shut down 15 enemy aircraft. Well, that wasn't going to be overspent. Calm down. Uh, mutually unacceptable demands. You guys might want to calm down, because... Okay, the repairs for all of our ships are bankrupting us, is what's happening here. I will fix that by pausing everything, unfortunately. It's just going to be eh, a month for a lot of them. Three for a couple. That's fine. I should do the fire control or the uh, dual purpose upgrades and all, but I'll probably just do a mass refit of them. I don't expect much more damage to be taken during this war because, frankly... The Russians came in... The Russians had 11 battleships entering this battle. They have five now. Then they lost a third of their battle cruisers, but they're down to nine total capital ships. Yeah, that's enough to give battle one more time. Not more than that. And not even really that, because out of their remaining battleships, they have one Imperatrice Ekaterina Verakaya, which we just demonstrated in itself, is not even close to good enough against our battleships. And four Imperator Nikolai the Firsts with 12-inch guns. They basically don't have a battle line anymore. They do have these four Rimnik-class battlecruisers, and these are quite terrifying. 43,000-ton battlecruisers with nine 16-inch guns, but I mean... That's not a battle line in itself. They've got maybe... Five decent modern capital ships total. Weirdly enough, despite what I just said, I'm going to have to decline because all my ships are in dry dock. And if they still have six more capital ships there, then we would lose. But, <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Why, Russian General Secretary? You're going to die. Our standard aerial torpedo has serious deficiencies. May I respectfully remind you that you endorsed this model a couple of years back, sir. Mm. Well, it is the U.S. Naval Ordnance Department making it. Should I just pretend it's not happening? Damn. We're going to have to just mis fix the problem. My precious prestige. My precious money. Neutral peace? No. X-ray quality testing, better armor quality, improved gyroscope, better torpedoes, heavier depth charges, better ASW, amphibious tractors, better invasion capability. That's a lot of tech. Bold of you to assume I endorsed this model. I endorsed this model a few years ago? I don't remember endorsing any model a few years ago. I don't know what you're talking about. Do I have enough range to invade? No, I still don't have enough range to invade either of these, I think. That's a shame. I don't think I can invade now. <laughs> that would be harsh, but, uh... Yeah. Do I have enough money to do this? Just about. Okay, so the three Pennsylvanias we can finish. I... How long before... Eh. Probably another two turns or something before we want to accept battle in Northeast Asia again, but... Honestly, if it came up, we could probably do it next turn if we really wanted. Because we know those five battleships, four of them have 12-inch guns, so they're garbage. Where the hell did the rest of the fleet go anyway? One battlecruiser off South Africa... And the rest, 
Where? Oh, two of them are in Southeast Asia. It still leaves one unaccounted for, no? Hmm. Well, I don't know where the hell it went. Not too worried about it at this point, though. Eh, well, sucks for the army. I don't even know where they're fighting. There's, we have no, well, maybe in Manchuria or something? Ah, oh, great. It could be worse. Fire hazard awareness, damage control improvement. Great Britain. You bastards. Um, honestly, since we're already out of war, my priority is just to crush the rebellion. It still it could end up causing a war with Britain because tension's kind of dangerously high, but... Okay, first two Pennsylvanias are finished. I'm going to immediately lay down the fifth Pennsylvania that I always wanted. And, well, I'm going to keep Delaware in commission as long as we're at war, but... Uh, More money, go for it. We would probably get a budget boost if we went to war with Britain. But I want these damn rebels to just die already. Why does France have a big squadron in the Caribbean? They have no possessions there. Whatever. One million before 1937. Do it. <laughs> Um, monthly balance minus 2600 it's fine really are you are they gonna why would they accept this they realize that four out of their five battleships only have 12 inch guns right did somebody tell them that I mean, this is going to be so painful for them. It's pretty much the same setup as last time, too. So we have Illinois, Ohio, North Dakota, plus Congress, Constellation, Constitution. Um, we're headed... It's going to be dawn shortly. Three carrier, four carriers. Langley keeps getting detached for some reason. I don't know why we can't just have a four-carrier division. Oh, boy. Still a little while till dawn. Well, there they are. Battle of the OCV2, indeed. Except it's just going to be... I mean, as if the first battle wasn't suffering for the Russians, but this is going to be really bad. They don't have a single... I mean, they have... Uh, what happened to you, buddy? Huh. Oh, it got hit by heavy gun... It just got hit by two capital ship great shells. Rough Sigourney. There's a lot of destroyers that are way too close to me for comfort. Uh, to the point, in fact, that I'm going to do a bit of an emergency turn here. To maybe try to not get torpedoed. However, it kind of seems like, weirdly enough, we like they didn't... I don't know if they didn't launch or just good luck, but... They got kind of wrecked. I see at least four or five Ruin Destroyers there. And they didn't hit us with any torpedoes. I imagine they still have plenty of destroyers, but... Yeah, 62. Oh, it's daylight. We'd better see them now. There they are. 
Sure enough. Everybody turn to port. And go after him. Wait. What? Oh my god, they're dead ahead of us also. <laughs> Hi. Russians. Oh, hey, it's a Rimnik-class battlecruiser. That's their one of their only nice ships left. Let's kill it. It's two Rimnik-class battlecruisers. I guess this is why they were willing to accept battle, because these had showed up, but, like... They're, they're gonna die now. They're just gonna... They're... We're just hammering them with 16-inch shells at point-blank range. It's only... Uh, it's less than 5,000 yards. And they're engaging six capital ships. Okay. Their battleships are over here. This is the only one that has 14-inch guns. Honestly, I would have everything... Everything is just shooting at the Rimniks. We're completely ignoring their battleships. One of them has stopped. That one's dead as good as dead already. Ah, right, great. It's always the weirdest times that I get hit by a torpedo. Like, what ship do we think fired that torpedo? One of these destroyers over here? Or... That one up there, maybe? There are a lot of torpedoes. Could have been one of my own torpedoes, honestly, with this horrifying net of death. Okay, looks to me like the Remnicks are both dead already. Which kind of checks out. Could this destroyer division please go torpedo them a bunch of times to be sure about it? Thanks. And then if you guys could all just turn to starboard and finish off the battleship force. The Remnicks are well armored, too. They just... 5,000 yards? There, no armor in the world could stop 16-inch shells at that range. Oh my god. Well, that one's dead. Four torpedoes later. And now it's full daylight. Just in time for us to make light work of the last... I only see three, not five, so... Apparently they didn't all show up. That's probably good for them. Now they'll have two battleships left in commission. This is kind of... Like, I knew my navy was better than Russia's, but this is brutal. Ow. Eh. Just scratch. That's their only 14-inch gun battleship left. Where the hell did Congress go? Oh, hey, where did our carriers go? They're kind of sailing directly towards the firing area, but it doesn't really matter, because... There's not going to be any Russian battleships left by the time they get here, frankly. This does have above water. I sometimes forget a lot of their cruisers have above water torpedo tubes. Nice job. Yeah, that's dead. That's dead. That's almost dead. That's really dead now. If those actually hit. Oh, for God's sake. Just when I was complaining about that cruiser, too. They're 
mentioning it. I don't know as many ships as last time, but it hardly matters because neither do they, and they're all dead. I think that cruiser's dying too. Destroyers, would you just come north and, you know, massacre those guys? Thanks. Little coup de gras. Close enemies. Prevents turning into the wind. Well, just turn around then. Good grief, guys. It's not rocket science. There's no. What close enemy anyway? These destroyers? I wouldn't worry about them too much. Apparently, we fired off 50% of our ammo. Don't think it's going to make... Fine, stand down here. I don't really care what you do, carriers. You, you are irrelevant in this entire engagement. There's just nothing left of the Russians. All three of those capital ships are 100% dead. So are the two Rimniks. One of them is already sunk. The other one is just dead in the water, which means it's going to sink. Almost always. Um, huh. It's a bit of a wrap, really. Not sure what there is left to shoot, even. Those two destroyers up there, maybe. Sorry, guys. You're now the sole focus of the entire U.S. fleet. Actually, we seem to be indulging and continuing to shoot this poor light cruiser here, but... It's got to be rough to be one of these destroyers right about now. One of the Imperators already sank. See, they definitely should have renamed those. They're the Soviet Union now. Why? There should be a script or something to give them more revolutionary names after the revolution happens. Can't really see Lenin sticking with Imperator Nikolai I as an appropriate ship name. What? There's really not even close enemies anymore, guys. Calm down. You're that worried about these two destroyers that are running desperately away? Great. Um, there are still enemy carriers out there somewhere. Fairly sure. Oh, they're right there. We've actually got spotting reports of them. Okay. Well, in that case, could we get together a nice, you know, airstrike? Maybe. Target there-ish. Yes. Ready yourselves up. Let's see what we can do. Maybe the carriers actually do have a purpose. All right, secondarily, just in case that doesn't work out, why is that your best speed? One of you must be damaged. Anyway... I'm going to have the battle cruisers just go that way and see if they can chase them down. I think their odds are pretty decent, honestly. Although not at 22 knots, they're not. But Yeah, that is what they're afraid of. Unfortunately, it's been known to happen.
Yes, pick up all the survivors. I, well, they're out of sight now. I don't know why they're headed towards our port, but they're out of sight. Oh, oh damn it. Yorktown took two dive bomb hits. This could impair our carrier operations. And she's on fire. She better not do what... You know what? She won't do what Lexington did last time because we're only 40 miles from port and I will just shove her in port and have them fight the fire at the damn uh, dock if necessary. How long does it take to get... I... You know what? It occurred to me that I completely forgot that this ship even existed. You should also get readied. Uh, yeah, Yorktown is apparently not capable of operations anymore. But What happened to all the others? There were way more torpedo bombers here a second ago. Did other ships also take hits, or what happened here? Hornet didn't. Neither did Wasp. Where'd all the torpedo bombers go? True, true, true. Well, it's the, it's the weird contradiction of the Sailor's Nightmare, that burning while surrounded by water. Mm, where the hell? There's the battle cruisers. Can you make better than... No. Not while Congress is attached, anyway. Fine. They're not having a whole lot of success in their airstrikes, but some. Yak 30s they've got. They're losing, but. Uh... Oh, hey, all my. Uh, all my torpedo bombers have magically reappeared after being gone for a round. Don't know why. Oh, and they're all ready. Okay, hold on. Let me check everything that's ready. Not you, apparently. All right. Launch. And you? I don't know if they've vanished from the list while they're readying, maybe. Or what happens, but... Uh... Anyway, that should be about, what, 30, 30 torpedo bombers, something like that. No, by Israel. Something like that headed for them. Maybe for once we can actually get a decent counter strike in. These last two destroyers are pissing me off. I want them to die. Light cruiser division. Please. Chase them at your absolute best speed. Thank you. Hmm. Huh. This Russian patrol... Somebody should shoot that down, really. Like, none of you cap aircraft can fly all of, like, 20 miles out of, out of the way and shoot those that, that plane down. What? Okay. Apparently. Weird choice. To come back towards us, but... Whatever they want to do. Okay. Some torpedo bombers are on the way. Pretty sure they were supposed to have fighter escorts, but... Uh, these guys have fighter escorts, just the other ones didn't. All right, close enough. How about Langley? Are you ready? You are. Launch. All right, let's see. If we get lucky, we might actually achieve something with this strike. I'm pretty confident that's where their carriers are, roughly.
Let's weather. Oh hell! Just when I was about to get in on an actually decent airstrike, it's got a rain. Well, any chance of finishing this last destroyer off? I think these might be literally the only two ships that were surviving of that entire Russian fleet we encountered at the start. Like, I didn't see anything scatter in any other direction. I think this might be it. Oh, North Dakota. Was that strictly necessary? <laughs> I think it was already dead. I feel like we're shelling lifeboats at this point. Okay. Sure. Keep it up, guys. Good work. Are the aircraft still trying to find their targets? Yeah, they're still up there. These reports are all... About two hours old, so I don't know where exactly their carriers are at this point. Hmm, that's the more recent report. But it's still pretty old. That's the thing, too. Our airstrike may very well just miss them, especially now that it's raining. But we'll try. Damn it, this soul destroyer is going to get away. What a bastard. Um, Alright, let's see if maybe they're north don't have any more recent sighting reports than this one from an hour and a half ago, or pretty much two hours ago. Maybe our airstrike will find them too, but possibly not. Yeah, it looks like they're not here-ish anywhere, so the airstrike's going to miss, unfortunately. Oh, great. Yes, detach her. And somebody just... Is she still on fire? Oh, fire extinguished. Okay. That's fine, then. I guess the rain helps. Where do we reckon those carriers are, then? They're somewhere in this sea. But this rain is going to kill our sighting range. So we could easily miss them. I'm going to keep trying, though. With any luck. If either of these forces stumbles on their carriers anywhere, it's just immediate death for their carriers. So... We're going to see what we can do. Unfortunately, the sighting range is so small now in this damp rain. Carriers, could you try... Um, not from you, from these guys. Yeah, not that way. Let's, um... Distance is good. Let's adjust our angles to be... that away. Let's see what we can find. Unless it stops raining, unfortunately. The odds of actually finding them are pretty low, but... Oh! Well, range, sighting range is a little better now. Still not good, though. OK, 
kind of hoping they'll have gotten stuck on the coast or something like the AI is sometimes dumb enough to do, but... Any... what? Five enemy cap attack... where was that, though? Damn it, man. What was this report? Oh, that's really old. Why are you still telling me that? That's really old, too, now. Nobody has a remotely recent report of them. But there's a little bit of daylight left. Wait. Are you kidding me? They snuck past us and they're all the bloody way back there now? Okay. Um, barring anything else, that's what we're going to have to assume. Carriers? You want to get your torpedo bombers and a good escort together? Target will be thereabouts. Yorktown, as long as you're sort of sitting around. You do the same. Langley, also. All right. I can only assume that that's a legitimate rep Yes, that's where they are. All right, well, they completely snuck past our battle cruisers and battleships. I don't know if we're going to be able to get back in time to intercept them at all, but we'll try. What is this gaggle of aircraft? Parasite fighter escort. From what? I don't have parasite fighters. Do the Japanese have a force out, maybe? Friendly cap attack. Is that over here? I don't know. Sometimes those messages are confusing. There's also a single destroyer still up there, but I'm just not going to bother to chase him. The carriers are a much bigger prize. Damn, the enemy get their attack away first, too. Are we ready? We are. All right. No oh, strike exceeds deck load. Well, hold on. Let me pull the fighter numbers back a little. There, we're good. Okay. The target is about... There. Uh, screw it. I don't care. Oh. Well, all right. Fine. Leave the escorts, then. Who needs escorts? Escorts are for people who want to come back alive. I don't care if these aircraft come back alive. Clearly, I wouldn't be launching them at night. Have you prepared enough to... No. Still can't make any decent speed with the battle cruisers. Our caps are doing good work. I just don't quite know. I guess it's all against our carriers. And they are mostly getting slaughtered. Yeah, so that's a good thing. No more recent report, huh? Oh, for God's sake, Yorktown again? I guess you're all out on your own here. Probably should have kept you with the other carriers. Oh well. I'm sure you'll be fine. How long until... Oh, not long at all until nightfall. That's unfortunate. Is that the strike groups, at least? They might just get their attack off before nightfall. No, oh, no, I guess not. That's a shame. They're definitely going to get away then. No, wait. You're attacking something. Where the hell is the destroyer Hazelwood? Over here? What if that was a submarine or something? 
I don't know what that would have been. Okay, who's allegedly down here, you think that is? Or can't tell which torpedo bombers have actually found a target either. Maybe it's the ones down here. I'm going to head that way. Even at night, any sort of surface action against the carriers will be just hideously one-sided. Obviously, they will have a destroyer escort, but still. Yes, one CVL very recently was over here. Who spotted it? Hold on. Maybe. What's that we spy there? Everyone adjust course. What was that there? Damn it, how has he slipped away from us? Man, I know the sighting range is terrible, but... They are? Over there? Hmm. I know they're right around here somewhere. It's just awfully difficult to... There was something over there recently. This might be one we're gonna have to look at the tracks afterwards and find that we were within like 10 yards of each other at some point. Time's about to expire though. Yeah, carriers get away. Wow, they had four carriers out, too. Hmm. Well, we lose another four destroyers. USS Maury, Sigourney, Israel, and Hazelwood. In exchange, we sink seven destroyers, being uh, Shmishlini, Tarpanevi, Chestny, Retivi, Gromki, Gordy, and Gremyashchi. We sink the light cruiser Boyarin, which had a very bad time being the main target for most of the fleet at some point. And we lost nothing else. Yorktown did take a lot of damage. We sink the battle cruisers Hotin and Rimnik of the Rimnik class, which are pretty much Russia's only really modern capital ships left. And we sink the battleships Ekater Imperatrice Ekaterina Verakaya. Imperator Peter Veliki and Petro Pavlovsk. I mean, at this point, it really is just like. There's nothing left of the Russian fleet. I'll look at the Almanac in a second, but there's going to be just. Pennsylvania is commissioned. Ah, we fixed the aerial torpedo. We can build motor torpedo boats in invaded positions if AMC is present. What the hell? We lost loose to a mine. I, I don't... Why? I've had four battleships and four light cruisers in the Caribbean this whole damn time. These Haitian rebels must be the most stubborn bastards. Well, kind of irrelevant. Russia... Russia is now down to two battleships, two battle cruisers in surface. They do have a lot of carriers, and they're building more. But it's 1933. As we've seen in the last two battles, they're still not that effective. And their battle line now consists of Chesma and Kronstadt, which at least are still dangerous. 
and Imperator Nikolai I and Alexander III, which, let's be honest, are not dangerous pretty much at all. They have cross-deck fire. Yeah. So, we've got three Pennsylvanias in service. We're building two. We do need more new battle cruisers to replace the Saratoga class. Probably first, I'm going to need to build more carriers. Bigger and, you know, 80 aircraft carriers or something. Oh. And I should probably remember to finally actually put those dive bombers on them, huh? That would help too. I'm going to have to do it manually, because copying air group uh, resets it or something, I think. We're mid-war, so I can't really have that. Okay, that'll help too. Alright, so the Russian fleet... Um, Situation there is kind of LOL what Russian fleet at this point, except for their carriers. Um, they have one third of our tonnage. In fact, they have less tonnage than Austria Hungary and France, which is the last country we obliterated. Uh, apparently, it's a total war situation, so I guess they're going to hang on for a an annoyingly long time, probably, but they don't really have anything left to fight back with. Except those carriers, but they're just not dead. I mean, if our battle cruisers ever get near them, they're just immediately dead. So that's a very dangerous game for them to play. Uh, in the meantime, that's going to be it for this stream, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, uh, consider liking or subscribing. And have a nice day, everybody. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.